So with Cadence Pro, there's a number of great things you can do with archive pages to make them just look amazing. Here's an example here of a golf course website that we've worked on with a custom post type called course, which has multiple post entries called holes. And here we've got this wonderful archive page that we've made. And down here, there's these cards and we want to also update those. So let's first of all, take a look at our elements that we have. So first off, on the archive page, we have the course navigation archive element. Um, and this is within Cadence Pro. So within Cadence Elements, we've added this item and applied it to a hook. So if we look over here on the side element settings, we can see that we're putting this before content and displaying it on Holes Archive. That's it. Now everything else within here is just block content. So we've been able to put all this block content in and now it's injected on the page and it's all inserted in this area. But one of my team members was asking, well, how can I update these cards? Can I do the same thing? And the answer is yes, you can. So here I've got a bit of a template and I've created a section. We've got an advanced image, but because it's a, a, an archive content area, we have to actually name this a little bit better and make sure that we're using dynamic fields. So inside of here, on the side navigation, you can see I've used dynamic image and you can use post custom field. So I'm using custom fields here. And then if you click on the three little settings, this little dots thing here, you can say show fields from all post types. And this will then allow you to select any of the post fields that you've set for your custom post type on the card. It makes it really easy to select things. So in this case, I've got a hero image. Now it doesn't show up within the content, but it will work when it's rendered out. Next up, I've got hole three. That's the name of the post title. So when I click it, you can see again, it's dynamic content and par five, and that's a current post dynamic field again. So all of these are dynamic fields that are all linked up. And even down here within a button, I've set the text to be the post title. So the wonderful thing is, is now that I've got all of these items, when I go to my elements and I enable that, so let's have a look here and see my drafts. So I've got a draft here with the whole info card. So this is the info card that's gonna replace this element here. So let me just turn that on. So that's now published. So let's go back, we refresh the page and now I've got this great design. I've been able to control all the different elements that pop in here and it allows me to assign that. So what are the assignment settings? Well, when I go to the sidebar here, I've said replace archive loop item content is the replacement that I've got. And then in the display settings, I say show on holes archive. And then that replaces all that content for me just inside of that loop and I get these great designs that I can now use all sorts of different tools within the Cadence block editor to overlay that template and make it look amazing. For more tips like this, why don't you give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything else you want to know, make sure you leave a comment below on this video. Let me know what you want to know and I'll make a video about it and I'll see you in the next video.